Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It is November the 18th, second Saturday of rifle season here in Missouri. I'm sitting here, uh, I'm in the redneck tower blind here on a cross fence. We got a little food plot planted over here. It's kind of eight down, there's still some wheat and clover in it. And then uh, got a cross fence here and then um, the hay field on both sides here. It's got a lot of clover in it. Deer are pretty much just coming out and feeding all over uh, both these fields. I can see a pretty good ways uh, um, both directions from the blind here, probably farther, farther than I would shoot, but from uh, the blind back to the wood line here, it's only about 100 yards, so uh, we're in a good spot. It's, uh, it's a good evening, and uh, it's the right time of year, so hopefully something good's going to happen. That's a pretty good buck. He was coming down the back side of that fence just sneaking. And uh, I had the crosshairs on him good. He mule kicked real good. And uh, we're gonna give him a minute here. And I'm gonna go up here and see if I can find some blood. There he is. There he is. Well, we're losing some light here. <clears throat> but here he is. He's got a kicker coming back. He's busted up. He's busted his main beam off on this side. He's busted off his his G3 on this side. <clears throat> he looks he's pretty heavy as far as his body. I'm thinking he's probably a, a four-year-old. Uh, super excited to get this. Got my wife and kids here. The kids are both hunting this weekend too. And uh they almost had a buck this evening. We almost doubled up. But, uh, great buck, great hunt right here in the tower blind. Worked out just like we would. So, and now I'm fully tagged out with my firearms tags. So, <clears throat> it's a great day in the woods. Well guys, welcome back to the Midwest Whitetail Great Plains Show. And as you just saw right there, Ben Hampton had an awesome hunt for that buck in Missouri. Huge congrats to him on an awesome hunt and an awesome season. Last week you guys saw me and my big nine point that I finally was able to harvest here in Kansas. Awesome season long quest for that deer. And Midwest Whitetail intern Alex rahman has been behind all these videos all year and he did an awesome job putting that one together. And he's been killing it all year. He's been uh, doing a lot of editing and filming for Josh. So. None of this would be possible without him, so a uh, huge thanks to him for putting all these videos together. As for the rest of my season, uh, I'm planning on hunting some does. Uh, the Deuce Farm from last year's got a high doe population. They do a lot of crop damage in that area, so I'm hoping to get in there and uh, put a couple does on the ground and hopefully even film my dad uh, kill a buck here at the later half of December. He's got some time off coming up, and uh, we're really hoping to get him a buck on the ground. We still have a few showing up. So it'd be a really awesome way to cap off my season filming him shoot one. But for the rest of this week's show, we're gonna be joining Corey Wolf uh, on a doe hunt he had back in early December and a quick update from him. But as far as that goes, uh, thank you guys for watching this week and uh, we'll leave it to the action. Hey everybody, welcome to Midwest Whitetail, the Great Plains Show. Uh, today is December the 3rd. Uh, I'm on an afternoon hunt. It is the doe season here in Missouri. Uh, 
I came over to a spot that I haven't hunted in a couple years. I don't think I hunted last year. But it's uh, one of my brother's farms. And on the way over here, he told me that they didn't combine this upper field. It had beans in it. And I was like, man, it's going to be standing beans. <laughs> no, it's just the drought just, just hit so bad. I don't see a single bean pot out there. I see bean plants um, just totally, totally ruined by the drought. It's just grass. And I don't anticipate seeing many deer tonight. This is kind of the one spot I had set up for. But I got over here and uh, I'm just going to shoot some, some does if I see them tonight. Just don't anticipate a lot of movement. So hopefully something comes out tonight and uh, I can get a shot. As I enjoy this beautiful evening, I thought I'd um, kind of fill you in on what's been going on with my season here recently and, and some of my plans for the late season. Loggers at my property have finished up. It was hard hit during the rut. You know, the pictures went way, way down on, on that place this year during the rut while their loggers were there, but that was totally expected. Fortunately, those bucks didn't get shot by the neighbors. I mean, I, I'm still, I still have some of the same bucks that I'll be hunting. I have 14 acres of standing Milo on that farm in three different fields. And then I have 20 acres of wheat for a cover crop up on Deer Ridge. Those are the two spots that I'm gonna really focus on hunting in the late season. On nice warm afternoons, I'll probably be hunting the, the green and on nasty snowy stuff, I'll, I'll try and Pattern something on that Milo. My number one buck, White Cheddar. I still don't have a picture of him since November the 5th. Kind of falling off the radar for me as far as a hit list buck. I'm just gonna probably reevaluate um, as bucks start showing back up on, on cameras, coming back to food. Um, that'll be my, my late season strategy. Hunting that Milo, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm probably gonna pull both of my redneck blinds, put them in the area. Even if they're not in the perfect spot, at least the deer are going to get used to them. Um, that way I have lots of options if, uh, if a buck does show up with any regularity on that Milo. But uh, I'm going to quiet back down and uh, hopefully we got some deer moving here tonight and I can, I can shoot a couple does for my brother. sure about the shot hopefully I made a good shot on that deer five deer came out and she was the last one left she started to walk away I thought I better take a shot and then the neighbor started ringing a bell I don't know if they're used to that or not so I thought well she's either gonna run or she doesn't care but um, I'll wait probably five minutes here and then gather my things and go look for her Well, she didn't go but 30 yards into the woods. Got her drug up. Tomorrow's a school day, so it's all the interview you get. And 30 yards is further than it used to be.